Welcome to the J. Gray's Report College Football Weekly Preview, Week 3. Like I always say, the playoffs started two weeks ago, bro. <laughs> you got to win all the ball games if you want to stay alive. The key is to run the table. And this weekend, boy, is going to be challenged. Starting at, top, starting at the top, we got Alabama going to Arkansas. Now remember, Arkansas lost to the Louisiana Monroe last week in overtime. And Tyler Wilson got a concussion, so he might not even play this weekend. Let me tell you, Alabama will beat the brakes, the doors, the windshields, the, both the, all the seats, the axles. You won't be able to recognize Arkansas when this ball game's over. So we won't spend a whole lot of time on these boys because Alabama may just show up with the cheerleaders and, and, and Ralphie and go in there and handle their business. Now, secondly, next big ball game, number 18, Florida, goes to 23, Tennessee. Tennessee been looking good this year. Tennessee is averaging 43 points a game right now, putting big points up. Florida didn't look all that great last week against Texas A&M. They struggled in the first half. Just looked like they were just out of sorts all night. And, you know, even though Texas A&M is a hard place to play, Kyle Field was unbelievable. I, I picked, actually picked Texas A&M to win that ball game because they were playing at Kyle Field. But I didn't think that Florida would, looked, would have looked that bad, in my opinion. So I'm going to pick Tennessee. Now, this will be the first time if Tennessee can pull the upset. This will be the first time in eight years that they've beaten the Gators. So that's my pick. USC, number two USC, is going to 21 Stanford without Andrew Luck, bro. Stanford will get mocked in this ball game. The game I want to talk about, Michigan State and Notre Dame. Notre Dame has to travel up to East Lansing. Did you see Notre Dame pull a gangster move this week on the ACC? <laughs> Notre Dame walked in with the blue and gold bandana hanging out the back, hat cocked to the left, and told these boys, hey, we're going to bring everybody in but the football program. As a matter of fact, we'll let you play us, but we'll only play five of you. And then every, once every six years, we'll let you host a home game with us. Straight power move, pumped everybody, just took everybody's lunch money and threw their lunches and, and took everything from them. It was crazy. Now, this, is the, this will be the first of five L's that Notre Dame is going to take, take this year. Because right now, they've, they have scheduled Michigan State, Michigan, Miami at Soldier Field. Now, you think thinking Miami doesn't, isn't, isn't that good. They didn't look very good a couple weeks ago against Doug, Kansas State, in Manhattan. They got 52 points put on them. But I think they still have better players than Notre Dame. Then they have to go to Oklahoma and to USC. That's five L's. So I don't know what they're going to do with Brian Kelly at the end of the year, who they're going to blame it on, but they'll take at least five L's before the year's out. Now, big ball games that you wouldn't think of big ball games, but there's Idaho goes to LSU. Now, like I always say when we talk about LSU, the story is not on the field, bro. LSU just suspended four players for being academically ineligible. And like I told you, the honey badger was sitting in the stairs last week. He's enrolled in class. At some point, now that you've suspended four guys, the honey badger might just come out of the tunnel riding Mike the Tiger this weekend. <laughs> and if he doesn't come out this weekend, he's coming out prior to the Alabama game. Before November 3rd, this boy is coming out. He's playing. Believe me. Trust me, he's going to play. Now, lastly, what I want to talk about is the ULR, Louisiana Monroe, is playing Auburn. There's no way possible that Louisiana Monroe can pull off two upsets in a row. As a matter of fact, Louisiana Monroe hadn't even taken a shower 
since last Saturday. Them boys went out and came out. They still walking around campus with their uniforms on, bruh. They'll show up in Auburn this weekend with the same uniforms they had on last week, hungover, and get the brakes beat off of them at Auburn. Now, I would love to see Auburn lose at this point because they're 0-2, but there's no way Louisiana Monroe is going to pull off two upsets in a row. I'll let you, boy. Keep me in. Keep me locked in. Put me on your face. The jgraysreport.com, or you can hit me up on Twitter at jgraysreport, and holla at your boy.